Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade, or Fi Trade for short, knowledge for everyone. My name is Alex Cho, and right now I am going to be talking about the SPDR Gold Trust ETF Fund. Basically, GLD is the ticker symbol, and it's basically a gold owning commodity trust that owns a bunch of gold and is a tradable on an, an exchange. But I'm pretty sure you guys are well aware of what the GLD is. And, uh, Basically, I'm thinking that the GLD is a little overextended. It did gap up on the session. It hit the 20-day moving average and the 50-day moving average. It pulled back from that area just to close right below the 20 and 50-day moving average. Now, the volume seems relatively high. Um, this high volume indicates that perhaps this trend is very temporary. And because this trend seems very temporary and transitory, I think that perhaps after it gaps up to this point, after it, I, I think it's based on this area right here, I think it's ready to pull back. And once it pulls back, guys, um, <clears throat> it's a good idea to anticipate the area of support at around 148.50. It did gap up by around 2.5% on the session, <clears throat> and it seems very temporary. I mean, this move, you know, I, I, would, I really wouldn't hold my breath for it. Um, and uh, it, it's only reacting to the markets because of the positive, I don't know, because of a weak dollar. A weak dollar is generally bad for the gold market. Now, because, you know, one thing that kind of sticks out to me, though, is that the dollar falls by 2%, and gold is only able to rally by 2, 2.5%. Now, back in the day when gold was rallying and people were buying gold on any reason whatsoever, gold would probably go up by 8%, 9% on days like these. <clears throat> but we're not seeing that positive reaction in gold anymore. So it seems like, again, you know, what I've been talking about, uh, about gold and silver for quite a while, um, people are hesitant to buy when there's positive information and uh, people are very eager to sell whenever there's negative information or negative ma ma macroeconomic data. Now, the negative macroeconomic data for gold would obviously be a stronger uh, a, a stronger dollar. Um, and you know, I think that the dollar might be able to recover. I'll talk more about the dollar in, in a different video. But uh, if in the event the dollar is able to recover based on the 200 day moving average, gold will most likely pull back from the 50 and 20 day moving average and will decline on the Monday trading session or even into the Sunday session. So keep that in mind when trading gold. I think this move is very temporary, transitory, and it's not a good idea to uh, hold on to gold. In general, anytime gold gaps up, it's always, it's always it always makes more sense to sell short and to uh, add more to your short position than it does to buy into gold. So take care, folks. Hope you guys have a wonderful trading session on, uh, well, actually Tuesday because I think it's a Memorial Day weekend. Uh, uh, but, you know, hopefully you guys can make some more money uh, or make money every single day of the year. And we'll talk some more soon. So see you guys.